Want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hey everybody, uh, before we get started with the review, I wanted to let you all know of a rebranding that I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm no longer gonna be just doing fantasy in general. I'm gonna be now doing a specific subgenre of fantasy, and that is dinosaur erotica. Um, so I will be now um, Matt's uh, dinosaur erotica book reviews, and I just hope that you all will stick around and continue to watch my content. Thank you so much, and here's the review. And I am done. Okay, so I just got finished reading Triceratops. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Um, I just got done reading Triceratops and Bottoms. <laughs> I can't do it. Trace air tops and bottoms. Okay. Oh. Okay. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, uh, which was just right now. Okay. So I did not like this book. Um, I'm going to give it two stars. And um, that's because um, there was some enjoyment I got out of this, but not for the reasons that you would think. So let me give you a very serious review uh, of this ridiculous book. Um, this is a book about a, a woman who decides to go into a time machine um, so that she could um, be intimate with uh, different dinosaurs, specifically um, a, a Triceratops. And, um, you know, that's, I'm going to leave that to, to my first point here in that, you know, at about the 25% mark here, uh, this is not a long book, this take uh, about an hour to read, and about 25% uh, of the way, she was fully... Uh, involved with uh, this Triceratop uh, boyfriend that she had made. And I felt like, um, uh, pardon the pun here, but that it should have come towards the climax um, of the story. And I was wondering, you know, where are we going to go from here? Uh, you know, we're already, uh, am I going to read, you know, 75% of this book and just straight uh, dinosaur erotica? Is that what's going to happen here? Um, and yes, but um, it, it, the, the story ended. Um, at about like the, I don't know, 30, 35% of the way through. And it turns out that this is a collection of short stories. Um, there are, are many stories of this girl's adventure and meeting different dinosaurs. So um, I, I'll, I'll read to you the different, um, you know, different kind of short stories in here. So uh, you already heard the first one. I, I, I can't say it. I'll just, uh, I'll laugh too hard. Uh, the next one was um, My Boyfriend is a Pliosaur. Uh, then Mile High Pterodactyl Club, uh, which was one of my favorites. Um, a Carnotaurus for Christmas. My Sexy Supersaurus. And then my favorite one, um, which was Tyrannosaurus Sext. Now, um, I liked Tyrannosaurus Sext because it was, a, uh, it was different. It was not in the same setting here of the girl going back in time. This was a, uh, a modern day story, a modern day take um, on a girl who is um, secretly texting um, somebody that she works with. Um, and when she goes out with him, uh, she realizes that he's actually um, a gigantic uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, it was about that time that I noticed this Girl Scout was about eight stories tall and was a crustacean from the Planet Um So, yeah, the uh, writing in this book, let's talk about that. Um, the writing is uh, atrocious. It's so bad that I actually laughed out loud at multiple points. Um, I, got, I actually got more laughter out of this than a lot of supposedly funny books because uh, it was just so ludicrous uh, that I couldn't help but laugh. It's like, like what? Like how is this happening? Like we're jumping from you know, um, you know, from this point to this point. Just, the writing is truly on a different level of bad. Uh, I don't know that I've ever read writing quality that was this absolutely atrocious. Um, so, so yeah, I had that. Um, I made some interesting logical jumps. Um, you know, we didn't get any explanation for how a seven ton Triceratops could be physically intimate uh, with a 130 pound woman because the anatomy just doesn't seem like that would work and on, on many different levels. So yeah, no explanation there. That was interesting. Um, but I suppose there's no, you can't explain it. Just have to, you know, suspend belief a little bit, but that's what we do in fantasy, right? Um, the, the, I think a bigger problem that I had with this book is that apparently 
Um, there's Triceratops and Brachiosauruses living uh, in this world, and if you weren't aware, um, Brachiosauruses are from um, the Jurassic period, and uh, Triceratops are from the Cretaceous. So there's about, we live right now about as far from when Triceratops lived than when Triceratops lived from Brachiosaurus. So, you know, I'm supposed to believe here, I'm supposed to just suspend belief in that these, these creatures lived at the same time. Yeah, that's ludicrous. Um, so yeah, I had that, you know, that was a big problem for me uh, reading this book. Um, not, my, not my biggest problem, um, but you know, pulled me out of, the suspension of, uh, of belief was very difficult to, to keep going here. Um, so ultimately, you know, did I like this book? No, uh, no, I didn't like it. Um, you know, did I get enjoyment out of this? Y also no, I, I also a big no there. Um, you know, did I get, do I feel like I, I got something of value and, and maybe be, got a little smarter here? Yeah, definitely no, um, definitely no. Uh, you know, I'm trying to think of something that I could ask that would be a yes. Um, is this the most ridiculous book that I've ever read? Absolutely, hands down yes. So there you go, there's a yes. Um, so yeah, uh, do I recommend this book? Uh, no, I can't say that I do. Um, if you're ever looking for a really short read for super cheap, uh, this book's not expensive, uh, then yeah, uh, pick this up. It's pretty comical how ridiculous it is. Um, but you know, I, 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 I said earlier on that I'm gonna be doing this rebranding and I'm gonna be going down this path now. Um, and now it is, I'm kind of done here and finishing this up and kind of thinking about it. Um, I think I'm done um, with Dinosaur Erotical. I think I'm gonna go back you know, I'm gonna do another rebranding. I'm gonna go back to Matt's fantasy book reviews. I think that's, um, I get more enjoyment out of that part of my life. So yeah, quick, you know, you know, seven minute rebranding and, and we're back. So thank you for uh, bearing with me on a couple quick rebrandings and uh, I'll look forward to uh, bringing you your regularly scheduled content um, in the very near future. So uh, thank you and as always, happy reading to you. Thank you so much to my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier patrons, Anna, Ben, Brian, CJ, Don Newt, Darren, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, My Book is Lit, Romeo Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, and Skye.